here so let's go grab the box we'll open it up put it together kind of look at it go over some of the features see what we got well it's here let's take her inside and put it together Alright, so I got my drum stool from Musician's Friend. I do a lot of business with them over the years. So probably spent more at Guitar Center and Musician's Friend than I have at any other store in the world. I've always been pretty happy with them. Um, package looks good, so probably going to be no damage. I've had these drum seats before. It's a rockin' sock. Um, and I've always kind of liked them. The only downside I've had with them in the past is rubber feet tend to wear out a little bit and then the metal part digs into the floor I suppose you can buy rubber feet though but I wanted a gray one because my drums are kind of gray these look at the box glued and uh, they did a pretty good job packaging it see self and stand put foam around the inside the box there which is kind of nice protect the because it's got like that vinyl side piece on there I always like it when they put stuff in plastic because I never trust the delivery guys that they're going to um, not leaving the rain on me so I like to have plastic around the product so the gray here will kind of match the shell part of my times um, it's a little, it's about, about as dark as the shell part. The, uh, I'll show you when I get it over there to the drum set. Um, nice heavy flange and it's steel, welded steel. It's not like a cast metal. I bought some cheaper drum stools that were cast metal that were a real problem um, with cracking. But this is a plate of steel welded right to a steel bracket there. So that's kind of nice. Um, Again, it's rack and sock. They make a hydraulic one and then they make the regular one. I don't really like the hydraulic one because I don't like the feeling of it bouncing around when I'm playing. I'm, um, I play with my heel down, so I'm pretty stationary when I'm playing. Um, I suppose maybe if your heel is up and you're kind of, you know, bouncing with your with your leg or something, maybe maybe the hydraulic one's a little nicer. I just never really been a fan of it. Um, just a personal thing. I know a lot of people really like the hydraulic ones. They make both. They also make backs for this. I've had them with backrests before. Um, got the holes there for the backrest. I don't know if the hardware's in here or not for it, but uh, I didn't get it because it's just going to my studio. I've had them, you know, when I was playing a lot and I could lean back at the bar or whatever if I was uh, tired after playing for four or six hours, but here I don't think it'll make any difference because if I get tired, I can just go do something else for a little while. Nice thick padding. These are always comfortable. Um, noisy paper. And there is no hardware for the backrest here. Um, I suppose if you bought the backrest, backrest is like another seventy dollars. I got this for two, two fifteen maybe. Um, free shipping for musicians, friend, free returns. Um, I suppose if you returned it without a reason, like if it wasn't damaged, they'd probably charge you for return shipping, but um, free returns within 45 days. Um, so the holes are there. It's got two little tightening knobs and springs in the knobs, which is nice because you don't lose your nuts and bolts. They don't come completely, they don't just spin free because there's a little tension in there all the time. So there's springs in the little gaps there. That's kind of nice. Um, nice heavy duty stand, three legs, tightens up at the bottom. This thing spins for your height. 
which obviously you want it to spin for your height. You don't want something that uh, just tightens in and that loosens up to go up and down because that won't hold. This has big grooves built right into it. Um, you just turn this and it goes up and 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 up. And, up. and then it's got a big huge nut type thing on there that you can if you turn that in it'll tighten it down. You can tighten this up to keep it from moving. And this is really super solid. When I was playing a lot and they wanted my stool to swivel, I used to put grease on the end of this so there'd be grease in the hole and grease on the top. That would spin really easy and quiet. The problem is it's really messy. When you're traveling, you got to put a bag over it. You get grease all over everything. Um, and then an acoustic set, if you've got a big acoustic set, I'd like to be able to spin. My electric set, it's real compact, so I will not be able to need to spin at all, so I'm not even going to put grease on it. Um, Real simple. So it goes in. There's a little notch in there. I don't know if you can see the notch. So when this goes on, it actually sets into that notch. Tighten these guys up. There we go. That's about it. Nice and solid. Um, here, I'll bring this over there so you can see it. I'll set it behind my drum site. You can kind of see how it's going to look with the drums. So you can see the, the grooves. I was talking about in the pipe there. So if I loosen this up, you can just turn it to get your height. So it's actually going down right now. If you tighten this up, it won't let it spin no more. And that just kind of locks everything in place. The two little knobs I was talking about under here lock the seat in place. This one's the last one you do. This one you'll just kind of do it to take tension out of one side. This one you'll tighten it right up just to lock it in place and then it won't spin. Um, like I said, I used to put grease in there and I didn't have these tightened up at all that way it would spin. I don't really want this one to spin. I think it's not going to be necessary at all in a compact electric kit. So let's put this back there. See, I can see the color of the seat and the color of the rims of the toms match up really good. So, kind of like that. Um, then just to get your height adjusted. My drums are not turned on, so... You're not really going to hear me playing. It's way too high. You just loosen this up. Loosen this up and you can just spin the whole thing down to whatever height you want. So I just spin the whole seat. makes it a lot easier to kind of do there. So I get it exactly where I want it. Way more comfortable with my piano bench. Still a little bit high for me. Spin it some more. So adjusting the height is just that easy. Boat perfect, I might raise it up just a smidgen. Very happy with it, arrived in good shape, well packaged. They got it here in about, I don't know, two days, maybe three, so nice and quick. Um, we do have a guitar center about 50 miles away, um, so they might have shipped it from Guitar Center. I don't know if it came from there or from the warehouse, but um, musicians front of Guitar Center, I believe, are the same company. So, completely happy, arrived in good shape, got a nice, comfortable drum seat. So I have to keep dragging my piano seat over. I've been putting this off for forever because there's so much money. But um, yeah, if you're looking for a nice solid drum seat, I would absolutely recommend the, the Rock and Sock. It's kind of a legendary seat. I've had probably four of them in, over the years. Um, but since I had sold my drums, I uh, raised this up. I uh, haven't bought another one since I bought this set because, like I said, it's, they're just they're a little bit expensive. Um, but um, definitely a seat I'd recommend if you're, if you're a drummer that's looking for a solid seat. Good for the road. Hold up really well. The only downside, like I said, is the feet. I can kind of show you those if you want. Um, and I'm sure you can buy the lock to some place. The lake where it's at. So it's actually got nice big feet on there, big rubber feet. Um, so they're nice and big and solid and stable. Um, I don't know if they have metal discs in them. Some will have like a metal insert on the bottom to kind of keep it from wearing through, but eventually these will wear through. Um, I'm sure you can buy feet probably from them or just from the music store, probably maybe even on Amazon or something that'll fit it. Um, those are the only things I've really found that wear out in these things consistently. Um, other than that, the seat will last you for freaking ever. Um, Eventually, over years, if you're playing every single night, I found that the 
the metal will start to wear a little bit, maybe the tightening screws or something, but definitely recommend it. If you're looking for a solid drum stool, the Rock and Saka is definitely a way to go. There's a lot of them out there that are good. I've had Gibraltars and drum company seats from Pearl or wherever, but uh, Rack and Sack is kind of a standard. So I give it my thumbs up. Hit subscribe down there. Always give you an honest review um, of everything I get. Definitely keeping this. Um, we'll see you on the next video.